Hey everybody, this video is how to connect to Air Media while using a Windows machine. Now, Air Media is a Wi Fi capability, so first and foremost, we need to check to make sure that we are connected to Wi Fi. At the university, you need to either be using EduRoam, USF Gold, or USF. If you're not connected to one of those three, this is not going to work for you. So since we are already connected to EduRoam, we're all set, we can open up our browser, open up Google Chrome, and you're going to want to type in the IP address that you see on the screen in front of you, either on the projector screen or on the television screen. You're not going to type any of the words, you're only going to type the numbers. So we're using 131.247. Dot one seven seven dot two seven. Go ahead and enter. Now it's going to ask you what kind of computer you're using. In this case, we are using a Windows machine, so we'll go ahead and click on the download feature. It does not take very long to download. In fact, it looks like we're already done. We can open up that program. It's just going to uh, take a second, and there we go. We should be up and running at this point. So, it's now going to ask you for that four digit code in the upper right hand corner. This time it's 2417. I promise you, when you do this, it will be a different code. So, we can go ahead, hit OK. Now it'll show you we're now playing. So, we can get rid of this screen here. So, whatever you see on your desktop right now will be on the screen in front of you. First off is your count up. That count up shows you how long you've been connected. This over here where it says playing just shows you how strong your signal is. In this case, we've got a very nice and strong signal. Up above is 100. That is the audio level that is being sent. When you're using a PC, audio can be sent to air media, um, but it does take about 20 seconds for that to connect. So if you're immediately trying to play something, give it about 20 seconds and the audio will start playing. The next is pause. This allows you to pause the screen so that you can make changes on your computer and it kind of freezes whatever's on the screen at the moment. It freezes it there on either the television screen or the projector screen so that they won't see what you're doing and what you're changing. The last here is stop and what that will do is that will disconnect you from air media. Now you don't want to hit this until you are completely done with your presentation just because once you hit stop then anyone else with a, that new four digit code would be able to jump on and take control. While you are connected no one can get onto air media so you kind of have control and no one can hijack your room. So don't hit stop until you're completely done. In this case we'll just go ahead and pretend yeah we're done, we'll hit stop. It will disconnect, it says stop. Now you can start all over again if you'd like, if you accidentally hit it by accident. This will not uh, allow someone else to come back on. You can just hit start or just click on the little X. You'll notice that down here that air media icon is gone. And now that means air media is disconnected from your computer and the program is no longer on your machine. You're clear to go. The next person would be able to make their presentation behind you. That's all it takes. It's very, very simple. I hope that you find it very useful for your next presentations. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask any one of the techs. We'd be more than happy to help you. That's it. Thanks for listening.